Well, I can say that that's not what I thought it would be. My left leg seems more like a meal. Smash, y'all agree? Dude, Lele. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. We're done, we're done with all of this silliness, chat. All of this shenanigans. This is a serious stream. Episode one, the coffin. That's a great start. I don't want to read that. Lele, I don't want to. Well, I do. Oh, they're kids. Okay, I think. Just go over and uh, uh, with you. I thought she's your friend. Mom said you'd help me with anything. We'll get in trouble. Good morning, Ashley. Uh, as much as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it is time for a little interlude. It is titled, Find Nutrients to Not Die. Ready, set, go. You're used to filling your stomach with water, but it's not enough. Your body demand demands sustenance. It's demanding it from me. My body's yelling at me, saying it needs mac and cheese, and I'm and it's scaring me. The front door won't budge. You've been locked in here for months now. What are you? What? Oh, okay. A lone trash bag. Nothing worth mentioning. It's a, well, it is a trash bag. So usually there tends to be things in there that aren't worth mentioning. Hence why it's in the trash bag. This is where you and your older brother pile your trash. It's been scavenged several times and is truly and utterly exhausted as a food source. But wait, what is that? We got a can of tomatoes, baby! That's what I'm talking about. Amazing, you should show that to your brother. Come on, Andrew. You gotta check out this can of, t can of tomatoes I found. Check it. Dude, what is my dog on about? Did oh, my stepdad left. You show him the tomato can. Ta-da! Not the reaction you were hoping for. Ahem. Ta-da! We're not eating that. Huh? No. That's the very last thing we have, Ashley. I think we should hold on to it a little longer. Quit your complaining. You're energetic enough to go rummaging through our trash, so you're clearly not dying yet. Huh? How did you know that I was in- Because I hid it in there, away from you. Aha! Uh -huh. He hid- Why are they locked in the house though, chat? Oh my goodness. This is child abuse. I don't know. Maybe they're adults now. I hope they're adults now. I- <laughs> Gasp! I live in a den of snakes! <laughs> Don't rile me up, you're making me hungry. Do you know what would help with that, Andrew, my dear? No, put the tomatoes away somewhere. Put them in my mouth, I will! I can see that your heart is set on this. Fine, let's go eat them. Screw our future selves. Yay! Time for you to go cook some tomatoes. Woo! Yeah, ba- Good day! Are you still alive in there? Hello, if you won't make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. And I don't bring food for the dead. <laughs> you, you don't bring it to the living either! Huh, I'll take that as a yes, still alive. And don't blame me for the delivery guy screwing up. Can you grab something from the store for us? I need to do a special voice for him. Nah, not my job. I'll trick you in on you later. Bye bye No, wait! Wait, wait! Come back! He doesn't. God damn it. <sighs> You boil the canned tomatoes and make a delicious boiled canned tomatoes. There's even a little bit of pepper left to season with. This is some gourmet stuff right here. No salt though. You've used all of it to spike your water in order to avoid over hydrating yourself while drinking it to fill your stomach. Damn, that's depressing. Well, how is it? At this point, you could have fed me a can of worms and I'd say it's the best thing I ever ate. Kiss ass. No, I'm saying it's how hungry I am. It is in that moment that an ominous audio assaults your eardrums. Are you kidding me? The neighbor is at it again? Wanna go take a peek? Nope. But I'll come along if you do. Here, catch. Got balcony key, let's go! We're gonna go peek at whatever the neighbors are doing, I guess. Remember when they still gave us food and stuff? Good times. I bet they don't do that anymore because they're scared to open the door now. They could still squeeze something through the mail slot. Like what, pasta? Like, like anything. Are they just gonna let us die here? At this point, I'd be surprised if they didn't. Like, this whole situation is gonna be a PR nightmare, I'm sure. I wonder if they'd rather we die than talk about it. Cheery. They should come in and shoot us or something, get it over with. That wouldn't look very natural, I guess. I guess. Yeah, this isn't what I expected it'd be, but it's also... I don't really know what I expected, I guess. Hmm, can't really see squad from here. You contemplate if you should take a leap of faith towards the neighbor's balcony. It's only the fourth floor. Ashley, don't you even think about it. Ah, he's no fun. <laughs> Set something up the cross. They are listening to spooky music. Yeah. Oh crap, are you alright? These goddamn DIY shelves, I swear. Oh, there we go, wood plank. I was gonna say, there's gotta be something to that. 
Your parents have fucked on this bed. They are keeping it real in this game, Chad. Andy and Lele. And the very, very quiet? What is happening? <laughs>, laughs. How dare you laugh at my artistic genius? The garbage you hold on to. Hey, I was proud of this one, still am. Well, it is still the best thing you ever drew. Hmm, I'll take that as a compliment. Wait, is that blank all I needed? Did I just need that one blank? Oh. Lol. Let's see what they're doing. Well, I can say that that's not what I thought it would be. I expected maybe murder, maybe sex, not that. All right, let's let's do this, Chad. Oh, demons from hell, hear my plea. Oh, the unholy ones, I come see. I Dude, I swear to God, like my someone, like a family member, is gonna get home and be like, "Okay, well, we, I guess we have to kill our child now." Oh, the unholy ones! I come seeking your advice. God damn it! What am I doing wrong? I thought that was perfect. Yeah, I also thought that demons loved spooky music. I don't know why it didn't work. Whenever I play spooky music, all the demons just come in like, "Bro, who the fuck playing these bops?" Like, know what I'm saying? I knew I should have killed that guy when I had the chance. What the fuck? Dude, some satanic shit knocked over my flat. He fell in my cereal bowl, but thankfully there's no milk on him. Bro actually fell off. That's crazy. What do you make of that? Everybody needs a hobby, I guess. That's real. Forget this. Isn't it almost time they let us watch TV? I want to look back in there. Bothering your satanic neighbor seems like a bad idea. That's real. Especially with, with the quote of, um... Should have killed that guy when I had the chance. I I would rather not bother, bro. Uh, the remote is dead. Just push the buttons on the TV. Eh, what a pain. Fine, I'll fetch some batteries for you. I always have to do everything around here. Yeah, yeah. What was you? It is, dude. What? Yeah. T pressing the button on the television is a pain. Going to find batteries though. That's not. That's way easier. She should just do it. Just press the button on. The so far, this game has been strangely normal. Like, it's been weird, but only in the ways that, like, are normally weird. It hasn't surprised me. It's just like, oh, yeah, that's a weird thing that I kind of expected to be in this game. Satan worshipping, yeah, but when you think of weird, these are the things that come to your head. In the trash lie your hopes and dreams exactly where they belong, asshole. You take the batteries out of the alarm clock. Got batteries, awesome. No more alarm clock. Only TV. I got the remote right here. No, that's okay. I think I'll just push the buttons on the TV after all. I can see that you have the batteries. Just hand them over. Nope, I've decided I'll hold on to them. We might need them later. For what exactly? Why are you being difficult about this? I am not. I am taking the the Herculean task of operating the TV myself. I didn't have to wait for that. Nev has told me that this game makes him very uncomfortable, and but that's also why he likes it. And I like I like games that make me uncomfortable. So, awesome. Whichever makes you happy, I guess. Bro, she knows she's in a story game where she's gonna have to use- Oh, that- You know that when I picked up that glasses off the dead corpse for literally no reason earlier? I can somehow use that now. Let's go. Thank you for tuning in. Today, we share with you some joyous developments in regards to the tainted water situation. We're happy to announce that all apartments to which the tainted water had been delivered have been secured. It has been three months since the first incident was discovered, and the death toll is now a comfy 53 total. No biggie. And the quarantine period for those who are at risk have been extended by another two weeks. Again? And to our friends in quarantine, thank you for keeping your disgusted, parasite-infested bodies far, far away from me. Damn, that's crazy. Sorry, it's thank you for your continued consideration to the public safety. That is all for today. Cheers. Bro, this is a short... Bro, they don't got 24-hour news in this world where they're talking about, like, how, why some lady across the country is, like, angry about gas or something. What's Wait, up with Mom, this, where like, are you going? three minute news? What's Me up with your that? father will be staying I'm at a hotel for a bit. You decide to do the same. I thought they said we should stay home and. I didn't drink anything. Mom. No booze, not dirty contaminated water, nothing. The only thing I've drank is some orange juice from a carton. Anyway, I'm gonna miss my bus. Oh, yeah, I should do a voice. Anyway, I'm gonna miss my bus. You and Andrew can join us later. All right, this won't hurt a bit. 
The nurse sticks a needle in you. That was the sound of the needle entering. It hurts like a motherfucker. There we go. And now you. How long do we have to stay home? The results from your blood work will be done tomorrow. So if everything is well, you're free to come and go as you please after that. And if not? Then you'll get to see what happens if not. That is all for now. Take care. Stop calling me, Ashley. Please. If you need something, ask the workers there. I, I can't do anything for you. I don't want to hear those these lies about starving anymore. Why the hell would I lie about that? Listen, this new apartment is a bit of a fixer-upper, so I'm really busy. Besides, isn't Andrew there with you? What do you need me to pacify you for? You get to laze around all day doing nothing. I don't know what you've got to complain about. Anyway, I've got to go. Please don't call anymore. I won't answer. G goodbye, Ashley. I'm sorry. This mom sounds like kind of an asshole. After reminiscing all night, you wake up! As one does. Not as everyone does, but as most do, yes. Instead of ruminating upon your misery, you decide to clean up the house a bit. No, I don't! You gonna make me clean? <sighs> You're cleaning? What a waste of energy. You're a waste of energy. Damn, bro! You can't just hit him with that. That's crazy. What awful siblings. They should have sex. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Come to think of it. Do we even have any detergent left? Is there no bathroom? That's crazy! How do they piss? There we go. You're feeling dizzy. Damn it, Ashley, I told you not to overdo it. You feel me. You feel me, chat! Good news once again. Some of you may have heard from your loved ones that there's been a supply shortages in the quarantined households. Well, boy, are we pleased to announce that all of that has been taken care of. It has? Does it look like I'm eating right now? On that note, we'd like to remind all of you to not to enter the contaminated apartments. No, your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is taken care of. Should you still feel the urge to help, the staff will be administrating bullets directly into your brain as a Moving thing. on to our next story, Damn, a brand new art crazy. is you. I hope that clears things up a bit. Drift back into unconsciousness? You're too tired to get the phone. Hello? Of course, what is it? The shift in tone- wait. <clears throat> Skill issues real- oh, I missed it. There's a shift of tone in someone's voice. No, no. Go ahead. Someone is talking on the other end of the line, but you can't make out the words. They sound more and more upset as they talk through. Well, that's... I mean, I can't do anything about that. Or... I can try talking to her, but... No, her... I mean, yes. But that doesn't... No, I'm not angry, I'm just... No, I... Can you at least let me talk? The voice on the other end must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you can't make out all of the words. Always about you don't Lee and Ashley and had to think you just can't live anymore. So that's it then. Now it's quiet on both ends. Well, all right, I guess. What else is there to say? Sorry. Although I don't really know why I should be held accountable for a fan beep 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 of a dropped call can be heard. I'm so invested in this story. <sighs> Who was it? My ex-girlfriend, apparently. Oh, she dumped you? Why is that? Nev's, Nev actually sent me a picture of his ex-girlfriend in this game just because he thinks she's hot. Why do you think? <laughs> How should I know? Maybe because you're a parasite-infested homebody that's apparently perma-quarantined? Or because she found someone new? It's been a few months, buddy. Or maybe she just didn't like you that much in the first place? Whatever you say, Ash. There might have been something more tactful to say. Yeah, that was kind of a dick move, Ashley. Come on. Whatever. You pretend to sleep until you really fall asleep again. Now you've been out for who knows how long. You figured you should check on your brother. Is he still on the balcony? Bro, he's been out here thinking for a while. It's crazy. Someone from your apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Hey, me too! People are yelling from windows and balconies. I need help too! Please, please, I'm starving! Soon the ambulance leaves in a hurry. L, Bro, that's crazy. Color me surprised, they actually got that person some help. 
I figured they'd just let her die. Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. As if they'd have their silence blaring for a corpse. Then what do you suppose was her emergency? No idea. Someone showed up when you fainted. My guess. Here's my guess. They're gonna be like, yo, if we give you a lot of food and comfort and stability and we let you out and cure you, then uh, you have to tell everybody that we actually treated you great in there and then she will. That's my guess. Well, did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumbass? Uh, I don't know. Maybe she went into labor or something. Yeah, maybe. Think they'd bring me food if I got pre- Nope. <laughs> Dude! Let me finish! How would you even get pregnant in here? Oh, no. Oh, well, we do have that one charming fellow next door. Over my dead body! He seemed a little off his rocker, so who knows? He might just end you. Forget this. That's not where I thought that was going. I'm gonna be entirely real with you. I did not think she was gonna say, oh, the guy next door. Not where my brain went, but it makes more sense, I suppose. You know? <laughs> well, excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here! That woman didn't look pregnant anyway. Whatever, it was just a thought. Jackass. You like to go after Andrew and tell him it ain't none of his damn business anyway, but you're just too exhausted. But after sleeping for a few hours, or maybe a few days, who knows, you're fully uh, revitalized and bursting with energy. <laughs> damn, you're right, I'm really full. <laughs> I'm bursting with energy, hell yeah. Jesus Christ. I'm laughing because I feel awkward because I, I, I don't, this is just sad. I did live in a home before where I was not fed nearly enough and the, not my mother, but the guardian at the time knew I wasn't fed enough and she purposefully didn't feed me enough. So this is a little awkward for me, which is why I'm kind of like awkwardly laughing and I'm like, ha ha. And usually I wouldn't just say that on stream but I, I just feel like I need to explain why I'm laughing. It's not because I find it funny, it's the entire opposite. It's very, very awkward for me. What day is it? How long have you been locked in your apartment? Oh yeah, and I was locked in a room. So <laughs> so that added onto the not eating is, is really, really clicking a memory in my brain. Locked in a room, not eating enough. What day is it? How long have you been in your apartment now? And where the hell does Andrew get the energy to make so much noise? Food, food, food! He unscrewed the lock and is attempting to kick the door. Ooh, epic. Or out, depending on your perspective. How many more times are you gonna try that? It's clearly barred from the other side somehow. What else am I supposed to do? If you don't stop banging the door, I won't be bringing any food tonight. You won't either way. Says you, the delivery will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you won't want anything. Yeah, that's right. Now you better stop bang, bang, banging on the door or next time it'll be me banging your head against the wall. The man footsteps fade away. Do you think they'll really get that delivery today? Like, I didn't fuck this up for us, did I? Unlikely. Though I guess we'll see. And see you did! That absolutely nothing was delivered. <sighs> Talk about something. I got nothing. Try. So, parasites. It's been a few months. Are you feeling anything? Hunger? You'd think something would be happening to us by now. But I haven't noticed anything. The nurse never came back earlier. Like... Don't you want to monitor us? Ugh, who cares? Me, Ashley. I care. Well, I don't care nor care that you care. Aside from the starving, it's not so bad here. Come again? Aside from starving, I like it here. Well, I don't. I want to jump off the balcony. Oh, I'll race you. <laughs> no, seriously, let's go. Let's not, though I appreciate your eagerness to join me. But it's a bit too romantic, so I'll pass. Excuse me? What? You don't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground together. With such sudden force that our bodies turn into a pile of gory mush, never to be separated. Our remains would get so tangled up they'd have to bury us together in the same coffin. The coffin of Andrew and Lele! Oh my god! So that's what's gonna happen. Might as well. We've been confined together in this coffin of an apartment for what feels like an an eternity already. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. Get your head checked. I should get my head checked, and no wonder your girlfriend dumped you, if those are your plans for romance. God damn, girl! Not romance, I said romantic. They're not the same thing. Romantic just means something that is... The neighbor starts blasting his favorite ritual music for all to hear. Awesome. Again? I wish he just... Holy shit, did he do it? You feel like you should check on that. Did bro do it? 
Oh my god, bro did it, I think. My lord, you've come! And you're, uh, a little smaller than I imagined. I- I love it! It's better than I imagined! That's all I meant! <laughs> what do you offer, human? Um, I don't have much to give right now, but if you help me out of here, I can get you anything you wish. Is that no good? As you wish, human. My lord, thank you! Thank you! Perish! Darkness clouds your vision, and you cannot see what's happening. By the time your vision returns, the entity has vanished. On the ground lay the lifeless body of the cultist. Damn, dog. That's crazy. So, um, am I already delirious, or did you see that too? Do we, uh, do you want to check on him? Well, at the very least, I want to turn off that CD player. That's what you're concerned about? I am not listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. You make it sound like we're gonna die any day now. Well, aren't we? Well, I'm not. There's gotta be a way this guy has that we can eat. Ooh, bl burglary time. They're gonna eat him, I swear to God. Sh shut up and let's get in there. The doorknob taunts you from the other side of the glass. So I gotta break in somehow. Got an ashtray. I'm gonna use the ashtray. What the fuck? Why did that work? <laughs> what? Okay. Dude, that's a lot of meat you think to yourself. What? Out loud, apparently. Though, I mean, it, is it still illegal if we didn't kill the guy? Is what illegal? Well, you know. Oh, you want to eat him? It, isn't that what you were insinuating? Nah, I was just making an observation. Uh, but we can't. If we do eat him, then that's it for us. There's no way we wouldn't get caught once they finally let us out. But it's not like we killed the guy. I think just messing with the corpse is a crime too. Well, I think they should look past it, given that there's nothing else to eat. Will the staff here admit that they didn't give us food though? And before that, you're gonna tell them a demon killed them? Really? That'll fly. Listen, you're overthinking the hell out of this. Are we doing this or not? Andrew, I'm expecting an answer. Um, um, y yeah. All right, then let's find something to butcher him with. Oh my God. So, you get the arms, I'll handle the legs. First you cut off the cultist's uh, left arm. We can't carry him out in the open like this. Just be quick about it. No, can't you get some plastic bags or something? I'll take care of the rest in the meanwhile, I guess. Obviously I'm live, I just want to make sure I'm actually recording. I forgot what you said, I think you said Andy. And he went, don't call me that. You hand him the cleaver. Andrew must chop 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 the rest. Awesome. I, I'll get it done, all right? Just go get the bags. Or what? Did you want to watch? Yeah, I'm a psychopath. Let's do it. Why? Don't you trust me? Boy, are you being a little bitch today? Just let me watch. Okay, then. Andrew readies himself, clearly averse to doing what he's about to do. Oh, fuck me. Oh my god, what are we doing? Go, Andy! Go, Andy! Go! I think one of these people here is a little more psychopathic than the other, but that's just my guess. Shut the fuck up, you basket case. Oh, right, the warden might hear. Well, that and whatever. Better hurry up, son. It's just meat. It's just some meat. Are you drooling? I'm hungry, all right? That woman is mentally unhinged. Based. Haha, <laughs> you're gross. Go get those plastic bags ready. Leave it to me. They're laughing now? Now they think it's funny? Haha? -ha? What changed? What? Why is Andrew chill? He went haha -ha now. What's the- what? Nothing changed. I'm gonna ask Andrew. Maybe Andrew knows. I worry about you sometimes. Thank you. Yep. Anyway, I think there's some plastic bags in the cleaning closet. Okay, there we go. There we go. Got left arm, got left leg, got right leg, got right arm. Let's go. Small problem presents itself. Crap, I don't think we can cut through the spine either. Just fold him over? I don't think that's gonna work. Watch and learn! Yeah, see, if anyone happens to be looking out their window, it will be a disaster. Maybe if I use two bags? Listen, this isn't gonna... Ta-da! Awesome. <laughs> oh, good god. No, don't make me laugh at this. I have the power to make you do anything, Andrew. All right, all right, enough. Gather the limbs up and go. There should be plenty enough room for them in our freezer. 
I'll stuff the torso. <laughs> Dude, the people in my house must be like, what are you talking about? I'll stuff the torso and head in his freezer for now. Then I'll go cook us something up while you're at it. Yeah, you'll cook up quite the something. Um, what are we doing, chat? Going based on me. My left leg seems more like a meal, so we'll go with that. You fry some meat. Dinner's ready. Hooray. Right, so what are we having here? Pure deliciousness is what? Eat up. You first. Um, um, what? Oh, you already... Okay. Eat, Andrew. You will not waste this. Um, right. Andrew takes a bite out of your cooking. I don't think he likes it. He begins retching. No, you don't. That's crazy, chat. Swallow. I'm just saying, chat. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, chat. Windows print screen? Just saying, chat. All of it. Chat! Well, well, how is it? It's... God, I hate picky eaters. I made this with love! So you're not leaving the table before you've licked the plate clean. Quit your nagging, woman. Then quit your gagging, you big baby. I'll eat it, alright? Just give me a minute. Under your watchful eye, he slowly finishes his plate. Good boy, I'm so proud. Chat. Just fuck off, Ashley. This should have been my strat. I should have just started eating people. What an odd way to say thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks a bunch. I'll clear the table, so just leave me alone. We've got a very limited set of spices left, but what do you think I should try next? I don't know. Maybe cor coriander? I don't know what that is. I'm not- I'm not good at food. I don't- I don't food. I eat snacks all day. Alright. I'll try that tomorrow then. I'm off to bed now. Night night. Yeah, good night. Hey Ashley, if we ever get out of here, you really should get your head checked. Huh? Just a thought. Sweet dreams. You fall asleep, fully content with your life decisions. <laughs> Said she likes you. Who? My friend from school. Or at least I thought she was a friend. So you're gonna be her boyfriend? Gross, no. <laughs> I should teach her a lesson. You're my brother. Mine. I'll make her think twice before stealing from another woman. Oh yeah, you're a girl too. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Somehow you don't count as a lady in my mind. Or as a person, for that matter. Screw you. I am the most personist lady in the world. And So anyway, I'm gonna take her to that old warehouse and lock her in one of the crates. Yeah, yeah. I stand, Lele. Seriously! Mom gave me some money to go buy groceries. Are you coming with? Focus, Andy. Let's leave her sitting there all night. That'll show her. Let's not. <laughs> you should go ask her to hang out. She won't say no then. Lele, I don't want to. Just go over and ask her to come with you. Take her to the warehouse and we'll see what happens. Come on. Mom said you'd help me with anything. I thought she's your friend. Well, I thought so too. And she can be my friend again afterwards. She just needs a reminder how to do it proper. We'll get in trouble. I'll only let her out what she promises not to tell on us. <sighs> do it, Andy. I guess. Hooray, you're the best. Today's episode is titled, Andy and Lele and the Bitch in a Box. One day you'll be a bitch in a box, and your friends will take turns pissing on the ground above. What do I do about these hussies around you? Where do you learn these words? Yeah, where do you learn the word hussy? What are we, in the 1940s? The bitch is you. I'll take you out to play, and when I'm done, it's back in the box with you. I really ought to kick your ass one of these days. What is taking him? He wouldn't have forgotten about our plans, would he? Finally! Huh? What are you doing here? Surprise! I want to hang out too! Oh. I mean, I guess that's fine. Say, did you tell your mom you're here? No, why? <laughs> Just wondering. I mean, I'm surprised she let you come hang out with a boy. No way, she thinks I'm here to study with Julia. But why are you here, Ashley? Divine intervention. What's that even mean? It means she's full of crap, don't listen. So, are we going inside or what? Is that allowed? I allow it. Let's find a way in right now. Oh, I'm gaming now. God hammer. That's true. I did God hammer. A steel mallet. I can't really think of a way a mallet could would be useful in this situation. I sure can. As in, help us get in the warehouse? Okay, yeah, in that case, no. Ugh, Lele, I don't even want to know what you had in mind. What are you guys talking about? It's nothing. Let's keep looking. 
Why'd they nail this metal sheet thing on the wall? It looks like there's a hole behind it. Perfect, tear it open. What, I can't do that. It's okay, I won't tell anyone. As in, I literally can't do it, dumbass. Not without some tools, at least. Huh? E even though it's this flimsy? Yes. I, I like smart guys over beefy ones. Who asked? I love Lele, I'm gonna be real with you. You use it, the back of the hammer to pull out the nails. <laughs> wow, it sure is <coughs> kind of dusty in here. Makes me worry about my asthma. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, I know, how about some hide and seek? Ugh, you're such a kid. Huh? And he wants to play too! You do? What? Oh, yeah, sure. See? Well, I mean, it's fun every once in a while. You totally wanted to play too, you child. Uh, I'll be it, I'm gonna count to ten. Hundred. Count to a hundred at least. Okay, okay. One, two... Alright, let's find a good box to shove her in. You still want to do this? Of course! She said no one knows she's here. This is perfect! Lele. You promised! Now hurry up before she's done counting. Ooh, now this will do. There isn't any lock on it, though. Well, we don't actually want to lock her in. The hell we don't! Put a stick in it or something between the rings. That'll keep it closed. Will the stick just break? No. Well, if she's a hundred inches inside, I'll doubt she'll have the leverage to. Ready or not, here I come! Oh crap, she counts too fast. It wasn't that fast, actually. <laughs> Let's hide inside. Wait, what? What's happening? Oh, let's hide. Real. Uh, uh, boom. Epic hiding spot. Where do we get a stick, anyway? Andy picks up whatever wooden debris is at his feet. I guess this'll do. That's a tiny-ass stick, dude. Well, what do you think? Is she pretty? The stick? <laughs> no, who do you think, dumbass? Uh... She's fine, I guess. Found you! Both of you! Who hides in the same spot, idiot? <laughs> I, it was my spot first! Then you're it! No way, Andy stole my spot, so he's it. Yes, yes, I'll go count. Andy goes to count outside. <laughs> my hiding spots are the best. I know a really good one for you, come take a look. Um, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, I chat. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I'm a psychopath, but this is much. This is much. I can't. Like, I'm a psychopath, and I was thinking, like, oh no. This is going to be too much, chat. Like, like chat's going to see me do all this psychopathic stuff with no issues and think I'm nuts. Um, But this is much. Cannibalism was chill with that part. Locking a child in a crate? I don't know. I can't. I mean, I'm gonna because the game's making me, but I don't want to. I'm not gonna be happy about it. Think you'll fit in here? Seems like a bad idea. How so? I'm gonna get my clothes dirty. Oh, boo-hoo, who cares? My mom does. She'll get mad if I... Hundred. Oh, shoot, he's coming. Hurry, hurry. Uh, oh, okay. Hastily, your friend hops inside the crate. Uh, hup. Huh, what was that? Hee-hee, <laughs> I got you now. <laughs> it's too weak to throw you off the lid. <coughs> this isn't funny, Ashley. Let me out. There you are, Andy, you slowpoke. Hurry up. She's putting up a fight. <laughs> I can't breathe. <coughs> Is she all right? <laughs> Please, I... Shut up already, you drama queen. Let her out, Lele. She's just pretending. No one ever died from some dust. <laughs> Come on, just let her out. What? You'll believe her over me? It's not really about whether I believe her or not. Fine, you let her out then. Who cares about me anyway? Everyone likes her better. I bet you like her better too. Everybody does. I already know. I bet you'd rather have a girlfriend than spend some time with me. Of course you would. Oh, come on, I already told you I don't want- I bet- I bet you'd only hang out with me because mom told you to. That's- I mean, maybe she did, but- It's not fair! Why does everyone like her better? I'm loud, I'm weird and annoying, and no one likes me at all. I like you better, Lele. Prove it, liar. <sighs> I knew it. Maybe you'd have more friends if you weren't always so. Not even my own brother picks me over her. I knew it already. Did I not just say, la 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 la, talk sure is cheap. God damn it. She's gonna die. I'm gonna... She's gonna die. There, are you happy now? Hey, <laughs> yes. Just until more... Oh my god. 
not like you're the best. You hear that? You get to stay here till morning. No, please, Ashley, let me- No, 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 come on. I'm not- Ashley. Ashley, are you awake? I am now. I'm um, okay. What is it? Nothing, it's just- God, what the fuck did we do? You're still on about dinner? Fine, starve then, more for me. How are you like this? Are you out of your mind? Listen, I didn't kill the guy, so I didn't do anything wrong. You mutilated and ate a corpse. What else were we supposed to do? Call the warden and let him know he died? Uh, huh, yes sir, he summoned a demon and then he died. I swear we didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, I. we wouldn't have to admit we were there. We could have just told him to go check on the guy. Andrew, what the hell? What, what the hell? Didn't we both agree on this? I could have sworn it was your suggestion in the first place. I was too hungry to think straight, okay? Now that's some bullshit, but fine. Let's, uh, let's, uh, sure, I'm about it. What do you want me to do about it? I, whoosh, whoosh, there goes my magic wand. There, I've absolved you and your sins. You never took a bite now, you're welcome. Well, gee, thanks. We'll see how that holds in the face of law. Listen, who cares? <sighs> Isn't this, like, some extreme circumstances stuff? Like, can we be excused? It's the water company's fault. First they lock us in here for months and they won't even feed us. This woman is certified crazy, like a bit too far from sane here. She should probably be in a psych ward. Yeah, the point of the game is it's supposed to make you uncomfortable and whatnot. But like I said, the cannibalism stuff, honestly, if I was starving to death and there was a dead person next door, I would I would not... Look, the dude's dead. He's not going to care. <laughs> and I don't want to be dead too. So there, I was like, you know what? Maybe I am a psychopath because I agree with Lele. I don't eat him. Even being jealous enough to lock someone in a crate it's like i wouldn't do it and i still wouldn't want to do it in this game it would still be uncomfortable but i can get behind it what i can't get behind is it being a child that's where it's like ow no that hurts to even do in a game yeah i wouldn't kill someone and eat them but if someone was already dead i'd be like all right <laughs> i'd go one piece i'd chop off my own leg before i ate before I killed someone else. Is cabin fever a real thing? Cabin fever! Oh my cabin fever! And is cabin fever a real thing? Maybe we can plead insanity. I don't know, Ashley. <sighs> there, there. You know, I... I couldn't get his head off. Huh? Like, he didn't fit in the freezer proper. So I needed to chop his head off, but I couldn't cut it. His spine was too... Anyway, I kind of just... Like... I kept cutting around and then pulled it off, like some plant, I don't know. I keep thinking about it. I, I can't fucking sleep, Ashley, it's... Come here. I don't know what's wrong with you. How are you so unbothered? I don't know. I compartmental- I- I compartment- I compartmentalize- I don't know how nursing horrible word. Kinda like we compartmentalized that guy into different freezes. Ashley! <laughs> Andrew, what is it, Andrew? Andrew. Andrew. Andy. I told you, stop calling me that. We're not kids anymore. Then why are you crying like such a baby? I'm not crying? Wah, wah, mommy. The big bad me did the evil thing. You shut your whore mouth. Make me, you little bitch. <laughs> Forget this. Hey, Andy, remember when we used to go on adventures? What? Andy and Lele's quest for something or another, remember? Why bring this up? Isn't this just another one of those? I don't know. Can you just play along for now until we're out of this crappy situation? Then we can unpack it all later. Or not. I don't think we will, personally. But you can go to therapy. Like I could tell a therapist what I've been up to. Alright, just a thought. Let's just get out of here. Like we should have done months ago. Now that we've gotten food, don't you want to keep waiting until they let us out? Hell no I don't, they throw us in jail right after. And I don't know which is worse, withering in a coffin of a house or getting railed in a prison. So you want to escape not only this quarantine, but the consequences of our actions as well. As well. Preferably, yeah. This episode is titled, Andy and Lele and the Escape from the Coffin. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to sleep now. Good night, sleep tight. I'll try, good night. I love you, Andy. Shove that Andy junk up your ass already. My god, I don't love you that much. Ugh, you make me want to kill myself. Too bad diving down the balcony is just too romantic for you. A pillow hits you in the face so hard you see stars. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. 
your body has absorbed some delicious nutrients and you're feeling mighty better today. Let's go, chat. We ate people. Where's bro? Good morning. What you up to? I'm looking at this demon summoning instruction manual book thing. Brave. <laughs> Given things turned out so well for that cultist guy. Debatable. I mean, he was successful up to the point he lacked an offering. Anyway, this is here that demons don't think much of humans. Well, that's... I did not mean to skip that. Yeah, yeah, so they're only willing to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them. I take it you want to ask one of us to get out of here? Well, I wouldn't want to get out of here the same way the cultists did. But I do think this is our best bet for now. So, what will we ask from it? I don't know yet. Okay, then what will we bargain with? I don't know that either. Nice. I, I just barely woke up. Give me a minute. It says here demons prefer human souls, so obviously it's gotta be that. Where to get a soul while stuck in here? W what are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Ashley. What? I wouldn't. Thought about it. I see. Let me keep my thoughts to myself. Don't we already share enough? On second thought, let's not do this. Oh, come on. I'm not gonna sacrifice you. We'll figure something out. Let's just set up the ritual for now. What's it need? I'm not done reading this yet, but you can start by replacing my candles for now. Okay, here's the candle. Oh, and another two over here. Bro, look at me. Boom, chat. Now I just need to light it, I guess. Done, what now? Now we... Still alive and kicking, are you? You've been quiet lately, pal. I'm getting a little worried here. Yeah, hi, hello. One of my guys isn't answering. The weirdo one. I think he croaked. Fine, I'll check it after my round. I didn't read the second part. Whoops. The garden's footsteps move away from the door. Is that all we would have had to do to get the door to open? Just shut up for two days? Oh shit, he's gonna come in and see all this. No, 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 no. Enough, go stall him at the door. I'll clean this up. He's gonna find the guy missing. Unless he checks the freezer, which is where all the blood is pointing at. No! Go before he notices something. I keep clicking space on accident. I, I'm sorry, I'm excited. I'm like, whoa, what's gonna happen? And keep him there until I've mopped up the blood. Maybe then I'll assume the guy jumped off the balcony or something. There should be a corpse below then. You get to be that corpse if you don't get going already. <laughs> what are you guys gonna do? Get clean? Get the mop, you dumb bastard. Uh, boop. 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 Ashley, the warden is coming. Huh? What are you doing in here? Oh, God. Oh, shoot. Sally, the warden soon calls you over to his buddy. You get taken out back to your apartment, after which you and your brother's wicked deeds are soon discovered. Guess what? It went so badly for you that I'm going to let you try again. Oh, is there a time limit? Listen, this isn't it. You hid in the closet successfully. There we go. Finally, I was like, what do I do? I found 606. That's a lot of money. Greetings and salutations. Oh, dear goodness. Uh -huh. Anybody home? Oh, my dear goodness. Uh, oh, great. Another suicide. What the? How do you get in here? Okay. Andrew doesn't seem too pleased with you right now. You wonder if it's a good time to tell him none of this is your fault. Come on then, Lele. Let's go play. Sheesh, I thought I got caught there. You did. It happens to the best of us. More food! Woo! The warden is very dead. Well, you've done it now, Andy. You actually killed a man. Like, directly. <laughs> yep. I was a little surprised there. <laughs> so, where's your mental breakdown? I'm saving it for later. Lay off. Yeah, well, we'll see how well you sleep after this one, huh? Ashley, I am not in the mood for your shit right now. I... Ooh, looky here. Got a key to room 405. More people to eat, homie. Woo! At last, you've unlocked the door and... Before we go, Ashley. Huh? I just want to make sure we're on the same page about something. Whatever excuse we had for eating that other guy just went out the window because of your screw-up. 
I'm sorry, did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was gonna happen if I hadn't? Look, I'm not saying I'm not grateful, Andrew, I am. But what's your point? My point is that no matter what happens beyond this door, you won't speak a word of what went down here, to anyone. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. And no doubt it'll be obvious we did something, once this guy's shift ends and the next warden comes looking around. Dude, I'm really... <laughs> I like this game a lot. I am a fan. I really like this game. I hope there's merch of this game. It's best we disappear while we can. Well, as you might have noticed, I'm trying. Yeah, see, I'm not sure you're grasping the gravity of our situation here. Knowing you, you think you're going to find mom and dad. But I'm saying all of that is off the table. I hadn't planned on anything yet, actually. God, that's even worse. I- okay. So you want me to never contact anyone I know ever again because you think they'll snitch on us to the authorities, is that it? Yes! Exactly! Yeah, fine, whatever. If you're going to be this flippant about this, it isn't the authorities you need to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? I'm not going to jail just because you think of yourself as impervious to consequences. So you're going to take this to your grave even if I have to put you in there myself. You don't scare me, Andrew. Windows print screen! You know what? I'm glad there isn't merch of this. If they had a Lele plush, oh my god! <coughs> For fuck's sake, Andrew, try to fuck you. Bro, no, I'm- No, please do. Please, I'm for it. I'm for it. Please, I beg you. I need to see this. I need- Chad. Andrew, it snows in hell the day I'm afraid of you. Now back the fuck off. Who do you think you're talking to? It's- I'm stressed out, Lele. Yeah, I can see that. I need to know you're taking this seriously. There's half of a dead guy in our freezer with my fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the world about it. Hmm? All good? Can we go now? Yeah, I guess. Okay, finally. Though, Andy? What? I don't give a rat's ass about mom or dad, or any one of my so-called friends anymore. No one of them f felt it necessary to even answer my calls, or come fling food to our- I skipped it on accident. Home. I'm something that means that. Cut a hole in it. <laughs> Bro, I don't- Bro, why are you swearing on my stream? I'm gonna have to start banning motherfuckers. Would be quite the feat to throw something so high. The point is no one can come to try, so my affections officially died with all the brain cells I lost while starving. Heh. <laughs> but it's alright, because Andy is here with me. Even though he feels like he's threatening me for some reason. Sorry. I guess I lost some brain cells too. Can't lose what you don't have. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> alright, let's go get the hell out of here already. Whoa, new room. <laughs> Carpet that says fuck off. Awesome. I want that key. Let me, no, let me. I want the key. Whoa. I got key to room 302. Um, we're exploring 302 then. Throw to the staircase locks. Some emergency exit this is, right? What the hell? Oh. Is all it took to keep us in? A wooden board? It's okay, Andy. I don't have much muscle either. Your eyes say you're trying to comfort me, but your words do the opposite. Oh, whatever. What does this slip of paper say? The paper slipped taped to the door just reads 2XAB. What's that supposed to mean? Don't know, don't care. Yeah, let's just focus on getting out. 2XAB. 2XAB. Two, Remembering that. I sincerely don't care. Let's just get out of here, please. I'm working on it, goddammit. Looks like they got a little surveillance camera. Oh crap, are we on it? No, it looks like it's just recording the second floor. Huh, let me see. Great. There's another warden here. Is that a gun holster? Didn't the other warden guy have one? Let's go shoot the guy. Nope. He only had a key to the cultist's room and a walkie-talkie. Think there's a warden on every floor? Nah, they probably work in pairs. It's not like they had to do anything other than keep curious people away. And pretend to feed us, I guess. Well, even then, how are we getting around it? Don't ask me. Ah, huh, there's a key here. Found fourth fleet floor key. Let's go, chat. Ooh. Go to third floor. Because I have the... Those letters are blood types. Oh. I was trying to remember them. Doodles and drawings. Yeah, but her, though. I really like this animation style. That's all I'm saying. Hey, hey, hold up. Don't you dare come any closer. Who are you? Your neighbors from upstairs. What are you doing here? Get out. Well, we found the keys and thought you might want to get out of here. You thought wrong. Get lost. Huh? 
What don't you understand? You don't want to get out of here. That's what I said. Why would I want out? I get free food and I can play games all day. Blah, blah, blah. I live like a king. I hope this quarantine never ends. Wait, wait. They actually bring you food? Of course. Literally anything I want. All you gotta do is ask nicely. <laughs> like, bend over and open wide nicely? Ashley, fuck you. Get out of here, both of you. <laughs> I love Ashley. Well, that was something. How come we get such different treatment? Why don't I get food? Guess you're not pretty enough. You think she's pretty? I mean, wasn't she? Whatever. Is it okay to leave her there after she saw us, though? Probably not, but you go in there swinging your cleaver and she'll definitely scream. The second the warden comes in and shoots us. Oh, this is so hopeless. Damn, Andy, chill, bro. <laughs> I know, that's what I was thinking. It's like, homie, you're turning into your sister. It is kind of interesting how much level of interest, because you can tell he still doesn't want to do it, but he's a lot more comfortable doing it than he was before. So it's pretty cool. I think I like that detail. I think our best bet is to finish the ritual and use it to get rid of the second warden. Hmm, well, if we can get this woman up to the cultist room, we've got us a soul to offer. How on earth are we going to convince her lazy ass to even leave her room? Beats me. Let's just finish setting up the ritual for now. All right. Do you really think I'm not pretty enough? Oh, come on. So ugly I am that I shouldn't even be fed. Or maybe they didn't think it'd be fun to screw you while I'm loitering around the house. Oh, yeah, okay, fair point. And I wouldn't let them anyway. You might want to move, bro. Useless. I don't know, at least we'll hear if the other warden tries to contact this one. Which then indicates time is running out for us. Big deal, at that point we're screwed anyway. Hey, what if we call the warden over with this, and then we have the demon eat his soul? That's not a bad idea, actually. Two birds with one stone that will come in guns blazing. Oh, right. Let me think. Got walkie-talkie. While you're at it, I'll ready the ritual for us. What do I need to do? I don't remember. Check the guidebook. So, what's needed to uh, finish the ritual setup? Draw some runes on the floor with blood. Not sure what runes, though. I'll just redraw what that guy had already drawn. They seem to work. Redraw the small runes on the floor using blood. Oh. Cool. Well, you drip your digits into the, one of the warden wounds. Got blood. Nice. Losing it. I have an idea. Oh? Let's have the lady from downstairs lure the warden up here with the walkie-talkie. And, uh, how are we gonna make her do that? You know how. <laughs> Alright then. Let's go convince her. Or was there something else that still needed to be set up? Just lighting the candles and turning on the audio. But I think it's best to do that once the warden is on his way. Yeah, wouldn't want to keep the demon waiting. The Satanist Bible by Anton Vandor LeVay. Here. <laughs> With me. I think that's a good touch. You two again? Sorry, sorry. There's one last thing we forgot to ask you. What? I thought I made myself clear. Huh? What do you want? Hey, get off me! Windows print screen. <laughs> What's gonna happen now is that you'll coo into this walkie-talkie. Huh? Tell them that you and his friend are looking for a good time up in room 405. I, I don't understand. You only need to understand that we'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. N no, please, I'll do it. I'll tell him anything. We'll see. You press the walkie-talkie on. Hello? Huh? Who's there? H Hi, Dave, it's me. Where's Malcolm? Um, Malcolm's in here with me in room 405. D do you, uh, care for a quick visit? A quick visit, huh? I mean, if you wanted to have a good time, huh, that is. <laughs> well, I'll be in. I'm always up for a good time, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> bro, imagine bringing puns into sexual, bro. There's better ways to do it. I feel gross about this entire situation I'm looking at. I feel like you're supposed to. I don't, because I'm a psychopath. Would I do this? <laughs> I have to think. I have to think. Not, I, what's, what's funny is like I'm thinking about it like, what did I get caught? <laughs> Was it room 405? I guess that weirdo really croaked. Um, <laughs> nothing. I'll be right up there, sweet cheeks. You cut the conversation there. All right, good, let's go. I let go of her now, and what do you think she'll do? I, I won't say anything, I promise. Go finish it, I'll keep her quiet until it's done. What, get going, dumbass. Fine. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, Lele, catch. 
Andrew throws you something. You hurry back and finish the ritual. I'm gonna come back and she's gonna be like dead. Or they're gonna be having sex. I don't know. I don't know that you, you can't really, you know. Okay. Boop. Uh, boop. Mm, boop. So now what am I gonna do? No, you have to save the thing. Yeah, someone's here. Who are you? I can't see. Are you asking me my name, human? Hey. What do you offer? I can't just die myself. Pay for its name. I'm here. It's kind of dark, huh? I'm not doing anything with this kind of music on. Let's. What's gonna happen? It's gonna kill them. And then be like, now, now that you paid, my name is blah blah. And he's like, actually, I needed you to uh, let me out of here. And however, however, um, I have another soul. If you're down for that. Shock the warden reaches for his gun. Hey, him! I offer him! What the ah. So, uh, well, how is it? Human with tar colored soul. <laughs> I give you this! Human with tar colored soul. An unidentifiable small object. Hold it for occasional clairvoyant dream oh for an occasional clairvoyant dream to gosh the troubles ahead <laughs> thank you <laughs> like a white girl. <laughs> thank you bye 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 demon the entity is left and you're still alive unlike the other wardus man that all happened way too fast in the end i didn't get its name nor ask for a favor it just did whatever i wanted and it definitely just gave me whatever trash was lying around the demon's pockets but no matter, the warden is dead. If I have even one clairvoyant dream, that'll be cool as hell. I want this to be a TV show, but I know that this game is dark enough to just absolutely destroy the name of whatever studio would put it out. Because obviously for it to be good, it would have to have a nice budget and shit, which would mean it'd have to be a big studio. You decide not to linger on the fact that your soul is apparently a vicious pitch black mess. Guess you already knew that. Well, don't just fucking leave. Check the warden's pockets. Fair enough. Hell yeah. At last, time to shoot Andy. Just kidding. I'll probably shoot the lady, though. <laughs> I, I knew she was gonna... Yeah, I, I kind of love her. I kinda, I'm gonna be real. I, I, I know she's crazy, but like... You know, you feel me. I'm gonna come back and she's gonna be like, dead. Dear fucking Spongebob, I come to you in Griffin's name. I hope you send her to Valhalla and shit. I've always been told I was good at prayer. Sadly, your plans of splattering the lady's brains on the wall have been thwarted. Her corpse is already rest on the bed. What happened here? She tried to shoot me with a nail gun. How on earth? I thought you were holding her in place. Well, I let her go. Why? You were talking a while. I figured she wouldn't start anything as long as I had my cleaver. Lesson learned. How interesting. That you'd want to take your chances with that. For no reason. What are you getting at? You did say she was pretty. Ugh. I didn't try anything with her. Yeah, yeah. And here I was wondering why you insisted on staying behind. Andrew shoots his load while I risk getting shot by the warden. Are you unaware that the lady is dead right now? I guess she said no. Screw you, Ashley. I almost got shot, too. It's your own fault for letting her go. God, I can't believe what a dumbass you are when it comes to women. For the last time, I wasn't trying to get with her. And even if I had, which I didn't, so what? She's dead now. Oh, okay. That makes it fine, then. Good to know. God, I hate when you're like this. What's your problem? Fucking every time. Every time, indeed. Every time some fucking floozy comes around. Yeah, I'm not celibate. What's it up to you? It's always the same with you. You dip your dick in some bitch, and the rest of the world disappears. Not true. Yeah, it is, cockbrain. Now is definitely not the time for this. I just need you to get your priority straight. My priority right now is getting out of here. Your priority should be me! Blow it out your ass. I'm not having this argument here of all places. I- No, shut up. Oh, I skipped a lot just then. Blah, 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 blah. And on that note, will you back the fuck off my love life, Ashley? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. It's not like my girlfriend dumped me after you harassed the hell out of her or something. What? She told you? What a tattletale. You're better off without loose-lipped horrors like that. So it really was you. 
Yeah? All I did was weed out a quitter for you. You're welcome. And I wouldn't harass anyone if you stopped ignoring me when I need you. You always need something. You always have some bullshit crisis in the moment when I'm supposed to meet up with someone. Bet you bloody love it here, where I can't as much as take a piss without you knowing. Huh, and I bet you'd love it if I killed myself then. Where'd that come from? Like, fuck. What a prime example of your- you. Just you. <laughs> you would. You would. I know it already. I'm right where you want me, huh? I'll do it then. I can, just for you. You know, I have just the thing for that. Back at your beck and call just like it was way back then. What? No, screw you, Andrew. Don't act like I'm the bad guy here. I never once made you do anything, but it's always, I don't want to, I don't want to with you. Well, answer me this, what do you want then? Well, see, if you had listened to a word I'd said, you'd know I- Why don't you want to spend time with me anymore? I've done nothing but spend time with you for the past three months. So why aren't we friends anymore? Uh, of course we are, just- Forget this, can we just go? Just what? Just go. No, answer me, what were you about to say? Stay then. I'm going. Oh no you don't! What's so bad about me? I've been looking out for you! Isn't that what siblings are for? Just stop. What? Talk to me! It's not my fault! I didn't lock us in here! I didn't kill the cultists! I didn't even kill the warden! Which one? Neither! You did! And the demon! I'm all innocent. I've not harmed a single soul. Of course not! You made me do it for you! I didn't make you do shit, Andrew. You chopped the bastard up all by yourself, and you chose to do everything you've done here. And guess what, Andy? Duh. You chose to lock her in that crate. Oh my god. Where the fucking cunt choked! <laughs> Cry yourself to sleep to that, Andy, my poor Andy. Bro, he's about to beat the shit out of you. Why is he not beating you up right now? Why is he not punching you in the face? So... That just came out of your mouth. <laughs> what? It's true! You chose to do it. And you chose me. You chose me! Me! You backpedaling fuck of a brother, you chose me! You did, you did! I... So I guess we're... We're not leaving here together. You can't do it! You won't! You can't, cause I'm the only one you can talk to. When you can't sleep at night, and you can't take it, I'm the only one who can, who can make it go away. Fancy that. When you're the reason I can't sleep in the first place. I would like to go now with Andy. I'm ready to go now. Go like her did? Of course not! I want to leave this apartment before we get caught! With you, can we go? I'd like to go too. The thing is, you're pissing me off so much right now. So we go now. He'll just throw another fit later. Yeah, he probably will. I'll make such a scene too. Yeah. So I don't know if I can risk it. Maybe I'll just end you here and we'll be done with it. Though. If you can come up with a compelling reason not to, I won't. Well, I already said there are sleeping pills for that. Yeah, okay. I got nothing. But I'd like to go with you very much. Though if you planned on ditching me anyway, then fuck you. If it's not gonna be just the two of us, then forget it. <coughs> I don't give a shit about- I'm glad she choked. I know you are. No one knows it was us, so why does it matter? As long as it's just us. Are you saying you'll behave? I'll behave if you behave, isn't that how it goes? Who knows with you. Though I'm assuming we're getting out of here in the first place. <laughs> that's right. Our quest continues. Uh, what are, we're gonna name this episode again? Andy and- Okay, but I'm not gonna be Andy anymore. Huh? He's so spineless. And I hate Lele like you wouldn't believe. Huh? She better stay and die here with Andy. So you and I can leave. Fine. Whatever that means in practice. I like you, but you're so exhausting. Nonsense. I'm invigorating. Let's leave and never re revisit this conversation. Yes, I've got the keys to the second floor, and the I've also got the warden's gun. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me yet. <laughs> Maybe later? <laughs> Let's get out of here, Andrew. <laughs> Look, an open window. Great. Jump. Tempt me not, Andrew. I mean, it is only the second floor. I did not mean to skip that. What if we climb down the window using this carpet? I'm not sure how we're gonna secure it, though. You hold it while I descend. Okay, yeah, then I'll just jump into your arms once you're down. Wouldn't that actually work? Something. Hell no, it won't. We gotta set something down to hold the carpet in place while we climb down. Well, let's leave it by the window for now. One of the bodies. My brain is messed up. Okay, you can't judge me. I mean, you very much can. You have every right to judge me, but I was just, you know. It would work. That's what I would do. Check the ladies' room on the second floor. I like how you're just getting annoyed with me, so you're just telling me what to do now. You know, you could climb down using a body. Your happiness is measurable. Awesome. Oh shit, there was a nail gun. 
I, I honestly kind of agreed with her. Maybe that's just my brain, because I am also a very paranoid person, but I'm like, that son of a bitch was trying to have sex with her, wasn't he? <laughs> I genuinely thought that. <laughs> I already checked, there's nothing there. Stooping around a lady's bathroom, were you? I had to wash her blood off me. Oh, right. Excuse accepted. Thanks. The two of you use the nail gun to nail the carpet onto the wall. It doesn't look safe. There has got to be something else. I'm going for it! If nothing else, maybe the carpet slows my descent down. I mean, I guess. Alright, you first then. Damn right I go first. I am a lady. You climb down, very unladylike. So, what happens now? Well, what happens now is that we we'll skip town. And then find a buffet restaurant. Ooh. Then we'll steal someone's identity or something to continue our lives. Easy peasy, huh? And as long as we never come into contact with law enforcement, we'll live a quiet life and die. You got it all figured out. Good god, I have no idea what we're going to do, Ashley. First things first, skipping town in the buffet. Let's go to a real touristy location. Maybe some traveler will drop their ID. And then we'll rent the place using that. I'm sure we'll find some grunt work somewhere, too. I... Even then, I don't think that's going to... Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. It'll work out. Lest we live under a bridge or something. Like trolls will eat those who won't pay the toll to cross. How can you laugh? It's anything but funny. How can you do anything else but laugh? Everything has gone to crap. Keep it together. I am. Let's start by catching a bus. I'm happy. I'm happy to be out of there too. And otherwise? I'm a hair away from a panic attack, thanks for asking. I didn't get to tell you before, but the friend I called while you were downstairs gave me a gift. Do I even want to know? Supposedly I should be seeing visions of the future in my sleep now, but who knows? Well, I hope you do. It would be handy when it comes to avoiding certain things. Yep, so you can relax a bit. I'll keep my sleeping eyes open. But that also means you can't leave now. You're stuck with me. Nothing new under the sun. Stuck, huh? Are you? Oh yeah, completely stuck. <laughs> I knew that was going to be weird. I knew that was going to be so unnatural. That <laughs> you get on the bus and drive the hell out of here. End of episode one. Woo! Want to save or something? Save game? No, fuck you. Yeah, save. What's needed to uh, finish the ritual set? Cross the runes on the floor. So I'm not sure. I'll just redraw what they. Blah, blah, blah. I'll just redraw what. They, I'll just redraw what that guy had already drawn. They seem to work. Redraw the small runes before you.